Hey, hey everybody, Beardo Dude back with another episode of Stone Shard Permadeath. And today we're continuing our Shovel Knight run, taking on our first dungeon to see how the build works out. So stay tuned. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And there's a link to my Streamlabs if you're feeling generous. It all really helps support the channel. Oh, okay. He will give us the... Alright. Let's do this. Alright, guys. First quest. Going to the first dungeon. Is it Bandit's Den? I think you just gotta kill the boss. We'll see how this plays out. Let's move my uh I get priority in, in uh check there. Mighty kick. Uh, we don't wanna walk right off the road. I actually have tested it, they won't follow you into the town. Oh. Bonus wolves. In range, not quite. Ah, whiffed it. You walking? Nope. You walking? Let's get away from his buds. All right, that's probably the last one. Let me switch. Oh, he didn't rush me. That's weird. Oh, there it goes. Now, ideally, we probably wanted to try to get him in a uh, bad situation. But I ain't in a situation where we could drop a kick on him. But, you know, I'm not that worried about it. They were super intimidating when they first had the dash ability. And I mean, if you get ganged up on a pack of them, I mean, you're done. There's not even any question on that. I thought they had to get closer than that. Yeah, a defensive stance is really uh, putting in the work. Barely got hit that time. Let's see, and there's three total. So, where is he? There he goes. Alright, I wanna, yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna do that. Oh, there's dudes there. Would've been nice to know that. Oh, we should've gotten some booze. That would've helped. Oh, snap, okay. I don't know that we want to do two. That might be a little too tricky. Catch my drift. Let's see. We could try. Alright, if we get close. Oh, he dodged it. That was interesting. Uh, is there anything I can do? I guess you could put... Drop the leeches on me. Come on. You're almost dead, right? Almost. Come on. Woo! Got way closer than we really wanted that to. Alright, we're going back to town. Hey, I'm like dying over here, guys. Can y'all help me? I should have grabbed some mead. I don't know why I didn't. It's always nice to get the blood pumping in permadeath. I felt like we were pretty, uh, we were pretty capable there. I wasn't too worried. Oh, I did get a, a chunk of uh, ham here. I thought that would be a good move. Dang, we're that messed up, huh? Alright, get another mead. Uh, let's see if Arna can... Uh... Alright, you just sit on the floor. 
That's how drunk you are. I don't know if you guys have ever been that drunk before. How damaged is she? Jeez. You just sit on the ground of the bar. Maybe I'm the only one. Alright, we're almost walk walk it off, Arna. You almost walked it off. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much me running this in the nighttime. I probably should have just slept it off. Although we haven't even gotten the uh the inn yet. Oh, we should have sold all that stuff. Come on. Come on, Beardo. Oh, and I should have... Man, I'm scatterbrained. Alright, we'll grab the wolf pelt. We'll sleep. We'll sleep it off. Oh, we had two wolf pelts. Okay. Definitely worth it. Is there meat? Yep. Yeah. And there's meat. We could have grabbed some of that fly, Garrick, while we were running away, but... You know. In the heat of the moment. Well, we almost were going to go run to the to the first quest. Oh, that's probably decent XP too, yeah? Probably means we'll level up when we go to the uh, the dungeon. Alright, let's see. 100 crowns. We'll just do the two weeks. We're going to be here for a while. And give me something to drink. It's funny, that doesn't do anything for pain. It's just swill. It's nothing useful, nothing good. Alright, I'll cook up that. Yeah, I'm going to bed first, man. Didn't you see how much I drank? Didn't you see how messed up I was? You need to get kidnapped, my friend. Old Rickard here. I wouldn't mind if you get kidnapped, I'm just saying. I mean, I pray for your safety, but I, at the same time, I would not care at all. If you were to get kidnapped. Ooh, downcast. It's funny playing <laughs> playing Pyro for so long. I haven't played in the rain in a while. Alright. Oh, we need to go sell all this stuff. Well, first off, I needed to keep the battle cleaver. I didn't have any here. You can I'll sell you a bucket and this mushroom. You can take that stuff. Let me go sell the broken flail. And then the wolf skins. We'll, uh, just to save some time, we'll just chunk, let's just chunk the battle cleaver in here. Oh, look at that, two coins. And we'll sell that dude the hay. Whoa, man, lightning speed. These guys are on top of their game. All right, we made some of our money back at least. Should get a nice, a nice uh, amount by finishing the quest. But, either way. Alright, let's make sure we... Did we use up all our bolts? We did use up a lot, but... I'm not going to trip on it. Oh, there's one. The crows did not eat my crossbow bolt. That's nice. Ooh, henbane. We should definitely have some henbane for the dungeon. So, in this instance, we will just kind of cross... Cross through... Because this is the only one. I think after this, then it's just open fields. Which, I mean, you can have random encounters, but at least you're going to see them long before they uh, they get to you. Alright, walking in the rain. Old Shovel Knight Arna. I think it's just... Oh, we gotta go one over after this. Oh, some rhubarb. I'll take that. Thank you kindly. Mother Nature provides... And then, yep, we're at the dungeon. So now there are going to be some dudes on the outside. It's weird. It's like a fixed number. So it's like, 
if you come across it and there's two guys, there will always be two guys at this, uh, well, at, really at any of the dungeons. I think the only exception is the, uh, the final Manshire one. And then the crypt, you know, if the ghouls spawn, I think it's pretty random, but for whatever reason, it's fixed, uh, here. So we got at least, so what do they say? Uh, they told me what you do is you shout. Did he hear me? No, he didn't hear me. So you shout. And then the idea is that you go somewhere where they can't see you, I think. Nope, I think they I think they saw me. Okay, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. Well, at least one saw me. We are loaded, locked and loaded, right? Okay. See in range? Not yet. Oh wait, I want to do that. Whiffed it. Whiffed it. Got one. Alright. Bring it, bruh. Oh, a copper chain. I wasn't Oh, seriously? This could be bad. Well, we're going to do way more damage than he's doing. Come on, man. Just die already. I just got like one more. Oh, his brain's uh, split open. Jeez. Alright. Oh, he dropped a quiver. Would have been nice if that was a bolt quiver. Sitting in the rain. She looks like she's mad. Oh, why'd that guy get those shots on me? Now, I know there was at least one more dude. There he goes. Not in range. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to do it for like tactical reasons. I'm not too clear on it. Uh, to be fair and to be honest. Oh, we dodged it. Nice. Nice crit there. Nice. Doing quite good already. How much does that go for? 150? Eh, it's not bad. Alright, well at least everybody got drawn out. So there's three dudes at this this place. What do we grab? Nettle? Yeah, nettle's good for bleed resistance. That's pretty good bleed resistance. And for getting rid of intoxication. I guess we could hold on to it. Actually, it's pretty decent for intoxication. Just considering. Alright. We probably want to make sure... Jeez, oh, man. Oh, we didn't grab any more leeches. Let's just wait it out. Waiting it out. Sitting in the... It, the best way to heal yourself is just to sit in the rain. Really, it's ideal. Yeah, I really don't want to put points of vitality. That might just be me. I just don't. All strength. All strength, all the time. All right, so now is when it starts. The get, I mean, one of the benefits to using the shovel, right, is the uh, is you don't have to uh, repair it, right? Oh, I was gonna try to. Yeah, these aren't. This may be keep. This is not keep. That's not keep for sure. Alright. And I kind of go with their Varen tactic of combat. It's good to shout from the room away. Yeah, you can come over here, guy. Eh, 
Man. Handling, uh, handling business pretty well here. Oh, no. Oh, we can't use, uh, defensive. Oh, well. Ooh, I love the, the, uh, kick kills. Kick kills. Just say that, like, 20 times fast. Alright, we'll, uh... Ah, oh, we had the bread. Wasted my precious ham hawk. Ham hawk. All right. I don't know. I think we're seriously. How many of you guys are there? Seriously. Are you coming or yeah? I'm right here, man. Oh, we dodged it. You're not allowed to dodge. My kick, sir. Man, we already got enough of the Felchians. Are there anybody else? I guess maybe it would be a good idea to shout. It almost looks like the crit for the staff is the same as the... I mean, for the staff. For the shovel is the same as the staff. It looked like I did a sweeping hit. I don't want that. I'm looking for food. Most importantly, I'm looking for an onion. That will guarantee victory. Alright, how many guys? Like five guys? Okay, there's at least one guy. Come on, man. That was a good one. I think, yeah, we got enough. Jeez, you think we got enough? We got chests. That's nice. Uh, eh, Dwarven Shield. I don't know about that. Two Hundo. That's better than this, though. We're going to have something take up space. Nobody over here. Oh, it's a radish. Oh, it's a radish. Oh, iron ingot. Take it. Nobody? Come on, combat mastery athletics. Oh, no. I thought those were bookcases. I'll take that silver nug, though. We're going to need... Oh, yes. That's definitely a good find. The ink pot. That seriously looks like we're doing... Yep. Confirm critical attack with the shovel is a sweeping attack like the staff. All right. We're finding good stuff. Give me treaties too. All right. We can hope. That's all we can do. Maybe the next thing we should do is get the Sevier. It looks so cool. Looks like you're wearing a bike helmet or something. It's not even worth it trying to pick the doors. It's gonna waste, uh. It's gonna waste, um. Block picks. Really? A second one? All right, we'll drop a, we'll drop that. We don't need that so badly. Probably drop the nettle. Ah, come on, man. Nice. Definitely don't need a splint. More bookshelves, though. That's good. It's really interesting doing the video and looking up how the bookshelves work. Yeah, we already have... We already know shield treaties. It gets your mind to... Mind to work, and when you click on that bookshelf... So many possibilities... Onward we go. Anybody? 
Ah, oh, come on. Alright, we are gonna back up just because. I'm surprised that they didn't give uh, the random dudes in the dungeon mighty cake. Like, you would think that that would just screw everybody up. Because really, the only thing you you super have to worry about is dudes with clubs or maces, right? Because no other weapon's going to do knockback. I mean, with the exception of, like, some bows and I think some, some spears, I think, can do knockback. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, confirmed. Oh, let's eat some garlic. Good thing we got our, uh, our quarantine mask on. We're ready to go into the stores, go out into public. Alright, who we got? Okay, nobody over here. It's a couple of beds. Uh, I do love me some crowbar action, but we are pretty full. Don't need the nettle. Probably getting a little bit heavy on bandages here. Can eat that to make some space. Oh, we don't need an extra. We just need one mead. Yeah, get that bad boy up in there. Oh, see, that guy's a club dude, so we should probably position ourselves strategically. He's not exactly like a strong one, but... I do love doing me some club kicks. I mean, uh, mighty kick kills. I'm interested to see too how the fog of war works in the dungeons. It looks like it's gonna. Oh, that's absolutely what we need starting off. Man, this is gonna be like the most perfect run ever, right, guys? Oh, stupid table. Can I. Alright. That might be good to get rid of it in case he tries. He gets a stun lock on us. Dang, we're blocking them now. Yeah, you probably want to go heavy on block rather than dodge. I mean, we're not going to have... I don't think you can enchant the sword either. Man. This is crazy. The RNG guys may be looking favorably upon this run. They're just like, you know what, Beardo? You're doing a Shovel Knight run? You're awesome. So here's a bunch of free stuff. It's interesting that it's doing the, the staff. Uh, are we hungry? Can we waste some spo some spood, some food space here? Why do we have game dice? Did I forget to sell those and that's why we have those? Why is I an idiot and pick those up for no reason? It's yes to both, I'm sure. Ah, oh, come on, Arna. Jeez. We walked right into that. Whoa! We're jacked up. Alright, we're gonna rest. We got enough food. Man, that was totally my fault. I, I basically triggered that thing twice. We'll sit until her uh, leg no longer has the plus sign. Man, it takes a while. I, thought, I didn't think you had to get so close to the top. And that, kids, is why you use Detect Trap. Seriously? That's not cool. You can't like just do that, man.
Where are they? Can't stop with that funny business, man. Oh, it didn't do it. Get him. Alright, not bad. Two enemies at once. Hopefully there's no more. Okay, we're good. It's going pretty decent. I mean, we... Oh, that's a good find. We have been taking a decent amount of damage. But I kind of figure, too, as we... Uh, seriously? Another one? I know he can't hit me from there. Come on, man. Woohoo! Leveled. Suck on that, bandit dungeon. Alright. I'll continue to get strength heavy. I'm curious the so weapon damage. Oh, it goes up one per. That's pretty nice. Alright, and we'll get... Let's try, we'll try Sudden Lunge. I've actually never used this skill before. All right, let's rest, because it's entirely possible that this is boss man here. It's a small, but probably certain chance. And if it is, if it's the big Hulkin dude, we're gonna go run into that room over there. Let's get the, the last little bits of health here. We're past 101, right? No, that's what I thought. Oh man, big bad in here. Scary boss in this room. The shovel tornado is just taking out all those barrels. Okay. So we're closing in. Unless this is a three level dungeon. Which, to be honest, after some of the runs in the last playthrough, I'd be happy just to run a bunch of two levels. We are pretty, uh, pretty stacked at the moment. Alright, perfect position to go against this guy. I forget what's the benefit. Doesn't have a chance to cause confusion, right? The target's ability is on a two-turn cooldown with 52%. Okay. That's pretty decent. And then uh, we'll get, whenever we get Treaties 2, we'll get the, uh, the counter to that as well. Okay, so we do have three floors here. Let's see how it goes. A lumpy head. He looks so lonely. Look at him. He just looks so sad. He like so in inside of his own head. Do you not hear me? Hey, Tard. Get your stupid club and get ready. I'm gonna kick you in the face. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> is basically like kicking him in between the wall not an actual uh, way in which you can move but supposedly you can do it to people I mean technically they should hit the wall if you do that just saying I'm not like a scientist or anything but yeah, let's get get good positioning here. We should probably save sudden lunge in between kick. Since it has that chance of confusion. I don't know if you can stack days and confusion. Oh, okay, nobody's over here. Need some more chests or something, man. 
Breaking barrels and boxes is the best way to heal your injuries. I say that all the time. Alright, you don't really have good positioning here if there are guys over here. Ah, stupid bowman. Dang. We're in a really bad spot here. No, he wants that. I don't know why he did that. Okay, this is kind of a bad bad way here. Okay. It's a little bit scary. Cause he's at a oh he's at ninety has he at ninety one? I'm gonna lose his ten health. Where did he get damage? Oh, cause he ran into him. Okay, we did get what prudent oh second win. Okay. We aren't really in a good spot. That's good for buying time. Stop dodging me. Confuse him, please. Oh, he is confused. Come on. Okay, we're running. We gotta. We gotta run big time. From that dude. We're gonna be totally boned. Bone Arena. I don't think he's gonna chase. I don't wanna assume that we could just like pull one of these. Alright, we can definitely. It's a healing salve there. He might be out there. Let's see. He might just be chilling by his broskies. Yeah, I'm over here, idiot. Should be... Boom. No. Idiot. Oh, okay, so we did get confused. Nice. That's a pretty nice combo, to be honest. I hadn't really ever thought of that. But then again, usually if you're going like with some actual build, you have pretty good setups for stuff. Okay, I don't want his dumb arrow. Okay. So I'm guessing it's all because of this whole... Well, there's boss man. That's going to be boss man right there. So let's... First off, clear off everything. I don't know which one it's going to be. Did they say in the quest? Does it give you an, an inkling of who it's going to be that you have to fight? Another crowbar. Do we use up... No, we didn't even use up the other crowbar. We haven't used it, used it once. Do you love me some crowbar? We haven't really found any chests or anything either. That probably used it up some, right? No? Well, here, since we have it. Man, be the best. Maybe here? You come across. No, because then we would kick him there. This is really awkward. Okay, probably here would be best. No, that was a bad idea, too. Yeah, I'll just go for the. Uh, Man, he's kind of like move resistant big time. Oh, I thought it was two guys were coming. Give me that. Give me that tomato. 
Uh, we still want that henbane. Leave the tomato for the moment. For the time being. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Alright, let's get her kick on. Didn't do anything. Get her kick on. Get him. Nice. Very clean. We're hungry. Oh, we had that. Oh, we had a pear. Why didn't I eat the pear and then replace it with the tomato? Come on. Let's break open some of this stuff so we can get health back. Maybe we'll finally find an onion. We really need an onion. Just to ensure victory. Alright, that'll help. I still think, I think somebody pointed this out a while. I still think it's weird that there's not like, because if you eat too much, there's, I guess like a pseudo negative consequence to that. And that you can kind of get a debuff. I don't understand why there isn't one for drinking. Like just call it water weight or something. I don't know what it would do. I mean, you can't think straight because you're too full of water. Oh, sweet. Oh, brandy. Take that. Fremonte. Alright, we're... Alright, it's boss man. We do have good positioning. If it's... Well, either way. I mean, if it's the dagger guy, we don't have to fall back so far. But if we fall back here, we at least have one hit before uh, problem times. Alright, let's use the... Okay, so does pain in the buns guy. Alright, so space. Use that. Yes. How long is his days? One more turn. Ooh, nice counter. Crushing. 20 crushing damage. Oh, it's Alfred the Fat. <laughs> You're fat. How much damage are we? Oh, we're doing decent. Right? Ooh. That's not nice. Oh no. Oh, it's like, jeez. He kind of got us and then he didn't get us at all. Alright, what you got, man? That's all we had to do. We just had to kill him for that uh, quest. Alright. Break the barrels first. Alright, what's in the chest? Eh. Staff. I don't think those sell for very much. Oh, you're kidding me. Lucky. Lucky duck over here, man. Uh, we don't need that. Oh, we didn't even use the henbane. I'm, I know Wex is going to give me a hard time on that. I got great sword. Is that two? Again, not bad. Alright, what's this? An ID scroll. That would be useful to take with us. Um, I'll ditch the mead. Man, awesome score. That is insane. That's what we needed too, is combat mastery too, because we can... Um... Oh, sorry guys, you can essentially... Uh... There's still at least one more skill in athletics that we can get before we need athletics too. But man, talk about a good run. I'm feeling good about this build, guys. I was gonna play other games, but now I'm thinking I might uh I might run this run through this, like seriously. 
Seriously, seriously. I mean, I'm saying that I feel good about it now. When we're f when we go to the crypt, I'm probably gonna be crying. Um, but at least we've got we've kind of got a strategy going already. And then when we get athletic uh, when we get athletics too, and we can get that modifier to sudden lunge. That basically takes away the negative damage modifier because I think that's what it does, right? Let's see before we close out. Yeah, no time to linger. Does full damage and doesn't take a turn. So it's even better. So the only reason why it seems like you get a turn on this one is because they're confused. Yeah, man. Affected by day stun. Oh, if there's day stun, confused, or immobilized, or bleeding, then it does full damage. Okay, well, we'll think about that. If we're using the mighty kick combo, you basically just get a free hit each time we do sudden lunge. I don't know how useful that is against the troll, though, because leg sweep might be a good one to do too i don't know let me know in the comments uh i'm gonna be thinking about it a lot um we'll probably get elusiveness and we've got uh stance training maybe armor crusher that might be uh useful to have otherwise yeah and then we'll get thirst for battles a nice one not gonna get set up there it's not gonna be a lot where i'm skipping a turn to attack so we'll we'll probably pass on setup but um maybe armor crusher we're gonna have to get stance training regardless though it's not very useful we need it to get to the other stuff because we're not going to be using any other tactics but we do get plus two percent energy restoration so at least there's that right but yeah, I'm going to call it here, guys. I'm going to head back to town, uh, sell all this stuff, get ready for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Be sure to check out all my other videos, my podcast with Darley, my live streams on Sundays, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.